Hey guys, so I thought I'd hop on real quick. Just a vent, basically. I'm sorry about the lighting. Um, my ring light is now not working. Um, I have my desk lamp plugged into my Jackery. It's getting dark out. It's after 7. I'm at the QT in Monument, Colorado. I'm heading over Mon Monarch Pass tomorrow to head toward Grand Junction, Colorado. Just a quick update on Violet. My little chihuahua who's been having seizures. She did well. She went almost a full three days without a seizure. Then she had a mild one. And then she that was Wednesday night. And I think she had one Friday, yesterday? No, she didn't have one yesterday. She had one Thursday, a small one. But she did good all day. She had a stressless day. We, I mean, we did drive a little bit, about an hour and a half this morning. And then I parked at the mall. My daughter picked me up, her and her boyfriend. And uh, we got lunch and we took her dog and Owen over to the lake right across the street from the mall. So Violet and Elliot and Gideon slept for a couple hours in the trailer all by themselves in the shade. And then we left to come out this way, which is just another about an hour and a half driving. And um, both of them, her and Elliot, had slept like three hours uh, since we got here. Sound asleep. I had to wake Elliot up. And I notice sometimes when I do get Violet up and take her out right away, that's when she'll have a seizure. But I had, I took Owen out first and he didn't pee. So I didn't like her. Let me grab the seniors, take them out, and maybe he'll pee. Well, Violet went to potty. And she's sniffing around the grass, and Elliot fell over the past two days. He's really been falling over. Now, mind you, if you're new here, my rat terrier, Elliot, is 16 and a half. Um, pretty good health. He's got arthritis, the back end's really weak. Violet is my 15-year-old chihuahua. She's blind, deaf. She's had a head injury. Uh, she can't smell much. Uh, she's been having seizures. I'm heading back to, color, to the western slope where her, our vet is, and everything, everything's there. And it's a lot cheaper than out here in Denver. Um, so Elliot was trying to go potty and he fell over and get him up. And it's getting busy here. And then all of a sudden Violet falls over like a wet dish rag. I pick her up. I'm like, she's having a seizure. So I'm trying to get the other. And I already had picked Elliot up. And she starts screaming. And I'm like, it's like a road right here, the driveway. And then there's a grassy area. So I had to walk a little bit. And she's screaming. And you could tell if you looked at me hearing a screaming dog and seeing this woman holding, you know, three pets. Like, that's a crazy lady. Um, I'm trying to hold her up so she's not flopping, but she's screaming. And they, they do that. This is part of seizure activity. Sometimes they don't scream. Sometimes they cry. Sometimes they moan. Sometimes they just scream. And that's what she did. So I got them all in the trailer. I laid her down. I really thought I lost her this time, and that's that's okay, but it's really not okay when I'm on the road. My daughter and I talked about it. I even called the vet out here in Lakewood um, to suburb of Denver. They wanted, uh, mind you, she's six pounds. She could be five and a half. She's lost a little weight. I asked how much it was to euthanize her and a cremation. It was over $200. It was almost $200 to euthanize her. And it was over $300. So it was over $500 to euthanize her and cremate her. And that's a mass cremation. So I could get back hundreds of other animals with her. So my daughter said, no, she doesn't want that. Because this was her dog. Um, so I called our vet out in Grand Junction. $70 to cremate her. And that's one cremation. A single that would be just her now my daughter has used this place for three of her pets they're very nice they're so sweet and they're so compassionate to you and then I called the vet it was hundred and five dollars to cremate her. I mean to euthanize her if that if that's what it comes down to right now I'm just letting her be when she goes she goes if not if she starts to get worse because she was having seizures um, for three days she had one she had five in three days and to me, that was that was too many. And even the vet said, once they start having them daily, um, usually one one is just going to take them out. And when and then when they have the seizure, that they say that they don't feel it, um, they don't lose any time, uh, they're not in pain. But when you hear a scream like that, it sounds like she's in pain. But it's just the brain. It's brain activity. It's our, our brain is complex. 
but yeah this is this is my day and last night i had to go all the way to lyman from denver area and it was an hour and a half drive because the first two truck stops i stopped at were packed so i got this morning and drove back and somebody cut me off and i slammed my brakes on on i-25 and I missed a gas station. I had to get gas before I went to my daughter's. And she said, oh, there's one right there. Just make a right. And there's one, But it's really kind of small. And I'm going to pull in. I said, well, it's too late. I'm already pulled in. And there was a truck. There was a little R-pod. I'm like, okay, it's it's tight. So there was one, two, three, four pumps. So I took the second one, which would be the third gas pump, but the second island. And I pull. And I always swing around. I always make sure I swing wide. And I pull in. There's a, a car there. And, hey. Get off of her. Well, did you hear her? She just went after Ellie because he sat on her. It's all right, buddy. It's okay, Violet. You're okay. Um, so I went in. I paid and I come out. And uh, it was empty. There was no one next to me. I'm like, okay, I can swing out to the right. And that's where a driveway is instead of having to go where the car is parked in front of the gas station. And uh, so I go to pull out. And I noticed that my wheel well was a little close to the cement barrier so i go to plot and the car had just pulled up and i i pulled my window down i said can you just wait a minute so i can pull out and he's like yeah yeah so he backed up a little bit i go put and my truck jerks and i hit the cement barrier with my my wheel well not loud not you know i wasn't going very fast so i back up and i backed out really well and so i go to come around again and i couldn't see because the way i had to angle my truck I get out and look and I'm like, okay, looks like I've got it. So I go back in. I go, well, I hit the front of my freaking trailer, the corner of it. And I dent the diamond plate and I put a scratch in because I'm just trying to just get out. So now everybody's watching me and I'm like, I'm just starting to, I'm starting to panic in, in a sense. Um, but the, this park, there were so many people that just pulled in and I knew I just, I couldn't back up all the way. I knew what I had to do and the guy next to me and there was somebody else behind him. And I just wanted to get the hell out of there. And no one's offering to help me. So I back up again, and I, I get out, and I look. And the, the cement barrier is like this close to my wheel well. Just a little bit. And I hear it scraping, and I just, like, pull out. And I look over, and the guy that was next to me, his girlfriend's out, and she's behind her car just watching me. Yeah, so I have now scraped up the diamond plate in the front corner, put a scratch down the side, down to the bottom, and then put a little dent and a scratch on the wheel. I mean, it's not really bad, but I've been towing a trailer since I was like 18. And I've never hit anything. I mean, I've gone over curbs before, stuff like that. But I've never scraped anything. I'm always so very careful about swinging wide. And I always tell everybody that's starting out, swing, but always leave yourself enough room. And always, always use your mirrors. And I just, I, I was just so frust flustered from the drive in and frustrated it was getting hot and i hate when it gets hot and i have the pets and i don't have a place to park that's going to be you know cool enough but luckily today i did find a bunch of shade they were great it had a bunch of cloud cover came in i was just and then i'm laying here just a minute ago before i took the dogs out and i'm thinking oh my god what if somebody was filming this because i was watching um some video about funny rvs i'm like Oh my God, what if somebody was filming that at the gas station and they saw my YouTube channel name on the back of my truck and now my the video of me trying to back up and look like I don't know what the hell I'm doing is going to go viral on the internet. And I just told my daughter and she's, Mommy, stop. And then I take the dogs out and Violet has a freaking seizure and she's screaming and everybody at the gas station can hear her. And yeah, that's, this is my day today. But tomorrow I'm heading over, I'm just below Colorado Springs. I'm going to head over Monument Pass, um, Monarch Pass, because Vail Pass is having construction in one of the lanes, and this weekend was the busiest weekend, the last weekend for ski resorts to be open. And Monday they're starting mitigation for rock slides in Glenwood Springs Canyon, so expect long delays. So I'm like, I'll just go over this way. Monarch Pass is a smaller pass. It is 11,600 feet high. It's a six-mile inclined to get up to the summit and then five miles down it takes about an hour to get over it though um yeah there's a, a rest stop up top in the restaurant the store so i'm going to do a video on that because it is really pretty but that's going to bring me into montrose colorado and i know i can spend a night there well used to be able to hopefully you still can 
um, at Walmart. So I figured I'd spend the night there and then I'd come into Delta. I'll spend the night at Delta at Walmart and maybe go up over the Mesa and see what the campgrounds look like. Stop in Cedar Ridge and see my boss first. And then come down the north side or the east side of the Mesa. And there's a little truck stop there I can spend that. Because now I'm waiting. My time has to wait. It has to stretch out and, well, not stretch out. I want it to shrink. Um, until Jumbo Campground, the one that's on the east side, melts first. And then all the, as soon as the boss can get in there and turn the water on, all the camp hosts can go up there. And I'm usually the only one who goes first. Nobody else shows up except the ones that work there. They come in few days later so now um because i'm not going to my daughter's and i don't want to go to my son's place because they have like a tenant that lives there let his pit bulls run loose and i don't need the older dogs to have that stress and i don't particularly care for these two dogs um so i'm trying to figure out where i can stay i know i can go out to Fruta, fruta to the blm land um in 14 days but I've never, I've only been out there a few days. So I don't know what their 14 day stay is like. Do they come out and check on you? I hate that. I hate that feeling. But there are like other places I can sleep. So, yeah. And then it's getting the middle of the month. And I'm going to get paid for the first of the month. So I can't do much driving because my, you know, gas money's getting down there. So this is my plan. So I will keep you all posted. And uh, I'll keep you posted on the dogs too. All right. You want to say hi, Elliot? Here's my Elliot. He's been doing really well, other than losing his balance. Right? He's at um, my daughter's boyfriend's mom's house. She has rocks in her front yard. So my daughter just said to me, maybe he's he's just had enough of the five days we were there of walking on the rocks, and it just, you know, wore him out. Because he'll hook it up, and he'll just topple over. Because his back end is just really weak. And um, But other than that, he's been doing really well. Violet has two, except for the seizures. So I've got her doctored up on holistic treatments, and um, I think that's been helping her. But once we get back to where she's been living on the western slope, if it comes down to it, then we'll make that decision, and um, it'll be it, it'll be hard. And it's it's just hard watching senior dogs go through what senior dogs go through, you know. But anyway, and the cat's doing great. No one's doing great, too. Right, Gideon? Huh? Right? All right, guys. Thank you all. I hope you have a great day. And now this just happened. All I wanted was a cup of tea so I can relax and go to bed. I did not sleep well last night, and now my cabinet just fell apart.